Welcome for a physics lesson. I would like to take you through a physics topic called the turning effect of a force. So generally, out of the many force, or what force can force on a body, we know one of the effects is force can make a body to turn. It can change the direction of a moving body. It can make a body to The turning effect is one of the effects a force can cause on a body. Therefore, generally, the turning effect of a force is called the moment. Moment. The moment of a force is its turning effect. Therefore, the moment of a force is defined as the turning effect of a force. Turning effect of a force. The turning effect of a force moment. Therefore, generally, the moment of a force can be calculated by the force times the perpendicular distance. Perpendicular distance from the point of application of the force from the point of application of the force therefore moment is given by force times perpendicular distance which means the SI unit of a force is the Newton meter The newton meter because force is in newtons and distance is in meters with this we know that if a force is acting through a given distance a force is acting through a given distance that was f then the perpendicular distance from where the to where the turning effect is caused. So let's say there is a pivot here. This is a pivot. Then this is a perpendicular distance up to where the force is applied, perpendicular to the distance. Therefore, in this case, the moments of this force will be given by force times the distance. Force times the distance. In other language, this is just the work done by the force in the turning of this metal bar, for example. So we can talk of the turning effects are being applied in many cases like the seesaw. We also have the spring glass in the garden. The spring glass. We also have the, the steering wheel. The steering wheel of a car and many other applications. So I'd like to give an example involving the calculation of the moments of a force. So we can take an example. An example. When we are told, for example, that a meter rule, a meter rule, Pivoted supported eight newtons, eight newtons. Then we have another force F. And another force two newtons centimeters centimeters six centimeters sixty six centimeters and ninety centimeters respectively. 
find the size of force F. Find the size. So before we look at this example, it is very important to notice that moments are several. Let's say, for example, we have a meter on here or any other room which is hot at that point. Then you find that the forces are several. We can have one, we can have a force two, we can have a force three here. It is proven that when these forces, which are acting in the clockwise direction, are summed up, then at any moment which is acting in a, at clockwise direction, then the sum of the two different moments is equal. Therefore, we can look at what we call the principle of moment. The principle of moments which states that for a system in equilibrium for a system in equilibrium the sum of clockwise moments at a point is equal to the sum of the anti-clockwise moments about the same point. About the same point. Therefore, if we take moments about this point of support, then we consider the clockwise moments. We have two forces giving us clockwise moments. Then those moments will be equal to this moment alone. The moment to this force alone. Therefore, we say that sum of clockwise moments is equal to the anti-clockwise moments. This one is also called the principle of moments. The principle of moments is also called, also known as, the law of so sometimes you might be taught to state the principle of moments or the law of lever the examiner means the same and you should state that for a system in equilibrium the sum of clockwise moments at a point is equal to the sum of the anti-clockwise moments about the same point about the same point so now we can proceed to solve this example Remember, we are told the meter rule is pivoted at its center. So if we are to sketch this equation, then we would say, then we would say the following, that uh, we have a meter rule, which is pivoted, a uniform meter pivoted at its center. And the center is 50 centimeter mark, because the meter rule has 100 Centimeters. Therefore, that is what the pivot is. That is what the pivot is. Then we have 4.8 newtons and a force F, then 2 newtons, and they are acting at 20 centimeters. Therefore, at 20 centimeters, we have 4.8 newtons. Then again, at 66 centimeters, so from 50, at 66 centimeters. 6 centimeters, we got our force F, all size is not known. Then finally, we have at 90 centimeters, 2 newtons. We have 2 newtons at 90 centimeter mark. The 90 centimeter mark. Therefore, here we can now say, according to the law of lever, or according to the principle of moments, we know very well that sum of clockwise. equal to the sum 
of the anti-clockwise moments about the same point, about a given point. Therefore, taking this point of support or where the turning effect is, then we can say that the clockwise moments are due to F, force F, and two newtons. Therefore, we can multiply from the point of support the perpendicular distance to where that force is acting is 16 centimeters. Therefore, from 50 to 66, we have 16 centimeters multiplied by a force F, which is not known. That is a clockwise moment. Again, 2 newtons times a distance of from 50 up to 90, where the force is acting, we have a distance of 40 centimeters. This should give us, those are the clockwise moments. They should give us a sum which is equal to the anti-clockwise moments. And the first moment here is only one due to 4.8 acting at a distance of, say this is 20 centimeter mark. So from 20 centimeter mark up to 50, up to 50 where the force is acting, we got 30. We have 30. Therefore, 16F is equal to. 4.8 times of uh, 4.8 4.8 times 30 then we subtract 40 multiplied by 2 which is 80 40 multiplied by 2 which is 80 which is which means 16F will be equal to 48 by 3. This gives us 4, 144. So 144 less 80, 144 minus 80 gives us 64. And this means to get F, we have to divide 64 with 16. This gives us four newtons. So the unknown force F is four newtons. Four newtons. Therefore, that is how we apply uh, the law of labor, or what we are calling the principle of moments. The principle of moments. So thank you for following. Subscribe to the channel and share the link. Thank you.